I'm Kevin Nortker. I'm co-founder and CEO of Ampere. So at Ampere, we're building the future of aviation by building hybrid electric propulsion systems that cut fuel burn by 50%. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. I think the fastest way to the right electric planes, whether fully electric or otherwise, is by mastering the propulsion and then rolling that into the new design planes over time. So Ampere's engines, we call them amp drives. Amp drive, this is our, our hybrid electric drivetrain. It can be used in an integrated parallel hybrid, series hybrid, almost like a generator. You can provide onboard energy into the aircraft, but this is the, an amp drive family of systems. We think it'll be lower maintenance cost, even with the added complexity of a hybrid system. Let's take, for example, your turboprop engines. Imagine you're flying short haul flights with those, right? This is our launch customer market. What happens with a turbine engine when you spool it up and get it hot and then you cool it down? That's a thermal cycle. It's not about the hours you flew on that engine. It's the cycle life. So how many cycles can you really survive? How many takeoff and landings can you go and how quickly do you need to overhaul that engine? How expensive is that overhaul? Half a million dollars? Every how many years? That's pretty quick. That's really expensive on a per flight hour basis. All of a sudden, if you bring the right technology in and you eliminate some of these things, like that thermal cycling of the turbine engines, you're able to actually minimize some of the major degradation factors that otherwise would damage the engines. And in these ways, our hybrid systems overcome the, the challenges that the uh, baseline technology had. My name is Justin Gillen. Uh, I'm a test pilot for Ampere. This is the Ampere hangar here in Camarillo. Behind me are two of the airplanes that Ampere owns and operates. Uh, and has modified to be hybrid electric. The original Skymaster came with two Continental IO 360s. Uh, this Skymaster behind us originally had 360 in the back removed to be replaced with this uh, STC'd uh, bigger IO 550. Um, and then we took the front engine off the, the 360 that was still there from the original installation and installed the Ampere electric power system. Uh, the electric power system is uh, basically equivalent to the engine that we took off in terms of uh, power rating. Uh, then, of course, with a bigger engine on, on the back, we get the added value of, or the added uh, performance of that uh, big engine on the back. So what Ampere's uh, goal has done is identify that, that extra power that you need for the climb, takeoff and climb, that you don't really need in cruise, uh, you can replace with the electric power. So the way this system works is the, the aircraft can fly uh, level flight on the rear engine only, uh, but it can't really take off and climb on the rear engine only. Um, just not quite enough power. Uh, airplane wasn't really designed to do that. Uh, so what Ampere have done with the uh, electric power system on the front, we use both systems to take off and climb, and then we uh, basically use that battery to, for that phase of flight. And then during cruise, we're using the internal combustion engine, um, and uh, you know the descent and landing phase is also the internal combustion engine. So that's where the hybrid. Uh, terminology comes from. So the whole point is that the electric power system replaces or, or takes the space of the power that you don't need in cruise. So from a from a performance standpoint, it's effectively the same. Um, you know, from a operability standpoint, it's a it's a little unique in that you're managing two different types of power sources. You're managing the internal combustion engine, which you know we've all been classically trained on how to fly all the three knobs, uh, and then you have this one knob that like you know it's basically like a thrust lever in a jet, but Obviously, it's not jet, but uh, it's effectively the same thing. You took the three knobs, combined them into one, um, and then the system of information display is very intuitive. The, you know, the, the thrust lever thing is very, you know, forward more thrust, back less thrust. It's very intuitive. So the, uh, the Skymaster has a certificated belly pod like that. That is not that certificated belly pod. That's a, our own development of a belly pod, but it takes the same footprint of a, you know, standard certificated uh, Skymaster belly pod. We built that to cover the batteries, just to provide an aero fairing, protect them a bit from the elements and, and to make it look a little better. So our next big exciting milestone is getting the supplemental type certificate for our hybrid electric propulsion system into the Cessna Grand Caravan. So this will be our launch product. So that process for us is about going through a supplemental type certificate 
about taking our hybrid engine, integrating it into the caravan, improving the functionality and safety of that system. I want people to think of Ampere as the gateway to the future of aviation. That the real entry point is about thoughtful engineering that mitigates risks and delivers results. That the way that we get to sustainable flight is through this hybridization and fuel efficiency as well as sustainable aviation fuels. That the way we get to vertical takeoff and landing flying cars is about improving the systems in existing airplanes first. And that the future that Ampere is building is actually a stepping stone to the future that everybody dreams of in the end state of fully electric or flying cars. And that we're here to, we're here to help.